What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead of War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Grand Columbia. And in this episode we've started uh, fighting the British. We have uh, seized the garrison of Antigua. But they are going to push out and Engelbert Pennington is going to attempt to try and break the siege. I don't think it's going to work, but there we go. That's the route they have gone down. This is, the, this is one of the first steps uh, that we're taking to to bring the Caribbean back under our control and then we can start threatening the British mainland the British mainland and possessions on the North African coast and now we have uh, Lisbon we can start to be a bit more uh, spendy and start to generate more, more armies in Europe to push against Gibraltar uh, land on Morocco and potentially threaten Britain itself but anyway Classic rain. Okay. Drop the guns on this bit of high ground behind us. Got a new mouse now, so my <laughs> zoom in on that action is gonna be uh, gonna be nice and smooth. Okay, so let's drop our line. We wanna be we wanna be a bit defensive. At least for the initial wave. Let's just hammer them as they come in. We're frontiers, we're not here to support the support the uh, militia. Then I've got my cavalry out here. Same with general. Boy the howitzers. Lord Brown shot for now. Colonial militia and African volunteers are going to get hammered first. But as they push through the town, they'll have to break their formation and then form them up, form up again once they get on the other side. Could occupy this house, but it's always a bit tricky. Because if they occupy the house with volunteers, they'll try and stream straight in, which isn't really what I'm after. Make sure my howitzers are engaging someone a bit. Different on the flank. And let's speed up time. As they advance towards us, their left flank is going to hit us eventually. It's just going to take a bit more time. Colonial militia are going to be among the first to get to our line. So this line is technically a bit weaker because it's mostly militia plus frontiersmen. Cavalry out wide. It looks like their intention may be to just form up, form up in front of us. But they are going to push into our. There we go. They're going to push into our line. Frontiersmen of open fire. Push my cavalry up, ready to intercept the buccaneers. Now they're going to deploy. We target the howitzers. Then immediately chase them down because a militia unit on the way. Left flank, which is going to get annihilated, then we're just going to roll them up. So, one unit go after them, one unit pull back. Yeah, they're still continuing their push into us. Shatter, but look, I, 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 well, I was for a minute there, drawing their infantry away from the main line. They don't really want to do, but we're cracking on, we're engaging. You see, my militia don't have fire by rank, so they're having to engage slowly. I 
using my howitzers to engage in round shot so they can try and get Mr. Pennington. Doing the, for engaging in round shots so they can try and gain a bit more experience. They're slowly marching up towards our lines. They're retreating. 19th Regiment are also retreating. Excellent. Commit my cavalry again. Target new targets some new units. So engaging the general, and we're going to be your shattered. You go after this militia unit. You can try and shoot us. Shattered, shattered, broken. Sue and destroy. Advanced. Uh, yeah, on the on the right. We can move up now. Uh, shattered is there. <laughs> definitely not coming back. Shattered, shattered, nice. Kill the general bodyguard. This flank. Begin to push forward. They're trying to save their general. They might get him, they might not. Alright, so slam your shots home. Foot artillery engage the enemy infantry. Okay, right, so now you guys... Push up piecemeal into the town. You can secure that house. Yeah, they are thinning the number, thinning us down somewhat. Rapidly. Shattered, engage the militia. Yeah, they're thinning us down, but their fires could work against them as well, so they've got to be careful about what they do. Although I'm fairly sure I don't need to push everybody up. Yeah, the general is broken, but we keep right clicking at the right times. They bring my cavalry back, I'm going to run them here, then back through my line. That's right, there we go. Sometimes if you right click, they'll stop and fight. Although, actually, I have killed the general already, so doesn't really matter. So in which case let's get them to pull back. Let's go which is a militia gonna pick off the 63rd regiment who broke the first grenadiers that are still alive. Regiment of Buccaneers, they, their entire flank's gonna roll up. These fellows can't really stand the fire. They might draw their pistols out and take a shot, which is quite funny to watch them do. They're in the you know, enormous musket fire and they just decide, you know what we can do? We can give you a few pops with our pistols. To the buildings, huh? Put artillery engage the 62nd, howitzers both engage the first. Yeah, don't need 
Oh, I don't need almost any of you guys, but bring you over anyway. Frontiersman doing some good work, giving precise, accurate gunfire. Yeah, that's wrapped in the, the grenadiers. The rain's picked up again. Poor man, line up. Oh no, they're going to break anyway. The militias, the militia and skirmishers are more than enough to deal with the 62nd. <laughs> Change their mind immediately. Nope, 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 not today. Excellent. Well, obviously, the Grenadiers have elected to come back, as have the 63rd. Howitzers are going to cease fire. Foot artillery engage the 63rd. Oh, first light foot. It's true. They've managed to get away, get away with it. I saw, I saw something deployed stakes in the centre, but I never really thought about it. 29th Regiment of Foot is reloading. I mean, it won't be long until these guys break. They've already both, both broken once. Their morale's actually pretty delicate. engage that infantry yet? No. Just bang it charge the buccaneers. I think they're gonna get their pistols out. Oh no, we interfered with them. Look, pistols out. No, these two decided they weren't gonna do that, but my guys decided actually I'm gonna charge this way. Bayonets ready. Here comes the 26. Charge. These guys are only. They might be. They might be melee infantry, but they're very light. They're very squishy. And infantry. Late game infantry with more advanced bayonets are pretty darn dangerous. So that's to be expected. Excellent. So let's see how the rest of the world reacts to what's gone on. Austrian Navy shenanigans. I'm quite happy with the naval progress we are making. Okay. But keep on the Marathas, they do have two units, two armies set off of our coast, I believe. And there goes Sweden, not much to worry about there. Doing a bit of raiding, which is a bit cheeky, but. Never mind. Okay, we've got 44,000 to play with. Bomb catch and a war galleon. Not that I really want them, but it's the principle of the thing. So that's the start of trade, fleet. A la espera de sí, mi señor. There we go. You men are part of a raiding squadron. Here's the West Africa they are at. Yeah, there's there's a <laughs> Marathon army. Uh, this so uh, this fellow get replenished. I mean, we one turn left. You effectively just fought that action. Secure Antigua. Secure Guadeloupe. Attack the ship. Dominaremos la sola. We lost two ships for that one action. Tarpemos, espabilen. 
but we've secured the, the port in good condition so we can crack on and get a couple of fourths to replace it. Okay, construction here on territory. Keep driving out the happiness buildings in the native areas so we can try and redeploy troops. the commercial basin. Excellent. Ooh. Accidentally recruit a bunch of admirals from flagship third rates. Get over to there. So let's get two first rates. Hop back to the Americas. Let's get another Global Trading Company, yeah, watching you, watching you, Spain. Okay, so this army. Yeah, you guys just keep replenishing. And you're going to be deployed over to Jamaica. So we lost you. We, it was, the, it was um, the, the former Martinique garrison, I remember. So let's bring this militia unit back to Antigua. Let's get a sloop to guard the port. Trade fleet, there we go. The Leeward Islands was secured. Lots of good trade upgrades. Okay, hop over to Europe. Yeah, it's the start of a new army. Something like that. And this army will be free to advance towards Gibraltar, although they are digging in. This navy doesn't have any targets. Not after signing a war with Sweden. Let's take all of you guys less a heavy privateer. Raid this trade route while we build a sloop to protect the port. 3,200, that's pretty good. Back to the Americas and just see what we can get for that. Starting with South America first as our mother, mother territory, uh, but it looks like it's going to mostly be farmland if I can get them at all. I can spend anything here, although I might actually boost you a little bit. Some six pound of horse artillery. Minus two is technically okay, but let's leave them there one more turn. You can move, but let's check out the diplomacy. Do I just want to go for the Plains Nations peoples? Protector of Naples and Sicily. So that will kick off, kick off a new war. Potentially a new target. But I could take Naples, then take Rome. Although I want to... Okay, before I do that, I want to deal with the British first. Let's just march these guys down to their border. Just to wait. Okie dokie. Tech. What, what turn do we get? Another naval tech. Okay, yeah. In general, everything's okay. Okay, right. Let's hear then turn. At some point, Max K will turn on us and become a enemy of our people rather than a devout ally. Britain is, is stealing Spanish technologies, which I'm okay with. Yeah, 
if I can take deal with Britain and expand my control over Britain and her territories, then I can move against the Plains Nations peoples, get become in, become at war with Sicily, and then land in Sicily and take Rome, and then push up against the Austrian blob from the south, as well as then hopefully landing um, to the north as well. So if I attack Madrid, that will destroy Spain. Sweden, they want ice, I, an alliance for Iceland. They want to give far in advance Karine. Okay, that is technically quite an interesting offer. I don't like giving away territory, but I don't mind giving away territory like Iceland. Although that's now my military port, so I cannot do that. Let's get rid of any trades of that and get rid of military access. Let's see if you will do that instead. Nope. Yeah, Iceland's got my naval hospital in it. I don't want to get rid of that. That's my centre of warship production in Europe. So we've got reformed naval administration. Now oh, it's gone straight on to carronades, which I think is okay. Medellin, I'd like you to go for classic economics. Once you knock that out, that's fantastic. Okie dokie. So you could probably move now. Okay, let's get you over to Boston. Meteorized last week. That's to attack the uh, the raiders. Let's not do that yet. So this, okay, I want this army. You guys leave Quebec. The militia can get in there. This army can get up there as well. What you call happiness building? Yeah, why not? Uh, these guys uh, are now have now been wasted because they won't. They, they, they can't. They won't ever leave the town until I lose the city. So let's just ban them, because they're all a waste. General's bodyguards, household cavalry, cuirassier, carabiner, two units of marines. Start again. Shame. Complete a growth trading company. Oh, yes, you are remnants from a previous battle. Todo listo. Get these chats repaired. A donde, Capitan? Not sure where you're going. Okay, let's upgrade a couple of global trading companies. You're yep, still replenishing. Ah, I remember what I was going to send you to do. The invasion of Plains Hills Peoples is off, because you, my lads, are off to here, Agvictuk, and land off the coast, because they have, actually they do have a port. It might not be any quicker. But if we land at the port, at least we've got it secured with our sloop. Sí, señor. No, no, no. Oh, for God's sake. Sometimes the game decides it, it is going to uh, just run off out of the port like this. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh, well. It doesn't really make much difference. It looks like it, it was a bad idea to go here because it's the basic roads. Either way, it might make them centralise their army in Agbiktuk itself. Um, Austria have claimed Texas, so we're going to move straight in and not let them get away with that. <laughs> you cannot be trusted, Mexico. Cotton and tobacco. 
cotton's trading at a cotton's trading at a discount to tobacco, but I am producing less tobacco in general. So I'm gonna. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason to it. I kind of just like. I like having the diversity. Okay, push my spy to the south because I'm gonna want my general to come down here and build it. Well, I'm gonna have an army stationed right here, sat watching Mexico. Because that, they gave away territory to a major enemy of ours right on our border. And they thought that was going to work. Well, that just ain't going to fly. Okay. ¿Cuál es la orden? Excellent. So that's a nice UC battle fleet. Let's get another on the go. How's your conversion to Falmouth? It's 100%. Get on it. Actually, no, they're already done. Very well. Get down to Texas because right now they're not, they're not going to have a uh, church church school for a while. Trade gained. Gone native. This guy. Although he's woodland preacher, but he's woodland preacher and gone native's bad somehow. I suppose it means that he's meant to be no longer converting the Americans as feverish as he could be. So that means he should go to Europe. Espero su orden. Señor. So put them in one of my armies. 2,300. Yeah, more recruitment. Okay, I don't think there's much else to do. I think I have to go. I'm going to go after the British Isles particularly, because if I don't, I'll end up just with armies everywhere, plus I need to recruit a load more armies from here. Whereas if I clear out this area, that's a large amount of British strength gone, I can send those armies out to Copenhagen, out to Tangier. So let's get these two armies up together. And then we'll send them both across. And they'll land in Ireland. Hmm. Go sending troops overseas. Will that will that completely upend our strategy? It looks like not. Oh no, Britain. Ooh, I'm going to rely on the good old-fashioned auto resolve. I'm no bueno. They look clear out our troop fleet, aren't they? Victory! They're going to engage us head... Oh no, they're going to flee into the woods. Or they're going to lay an ambush. They may lay an ambush. Well, that's something to be worried about. We must now be highly suspicious of our Mexican allies because they did trade away a territory on our border to the most dominant and dangerous power in Europe. That's another army being picked up to invade us, I am sure. We need, it. We need our uh, military strength to grow significantly. Otherwise, it feels like we are going to be in trouble. They're going to steal the trade spot. Yes, they are. Because the British cleared it out for them. So, out to the coast of Brazil. You men up to here. You men go on to that spot. You guys go after... Alguna orden? Sí, Capitán. 
Adelante, muchachos. There they are. Marcia, su tumba. I'm probably just going to auto that, even though I like the ship. It's not just not worth for that. Dominamos God, it was five ships. Sí, señor. God, the auto is always dumb. Ordenes recibidas. ¿Qué ordena, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I am going to have to start fighting those and not just. Not just YOLO auto resolve, because that just doesn't work for anyone. Let's just send my next fleet out there. Heroic death. We keep boosting our production. Let's get two fusiliers, two mercenaries, and a unit of guerrillas. Adonde, Capitan? Yeah, you were going to go after, I mean, to be a war galleon and a bomb catch. Don't particularly want either of those. El mar es <laughs> cash them in. Just clear it out. And who's that? Austria, eh? ¿Qué ordena? Le vemos anclas. Rocket ship and a four, sí, four three. Hurra! Because it's Austria. <laughs> because it's Austria, I want to clear out that four three and sink the. Actually, I might even claim the rocket ship. To be honest, take fight them both and bring them both back to America. Some of my fourths are a bit damaged. Straight at him. Especially because that rocket ship's going to do some damage to us on the way in. Curious to see what the range is on those things. But our sails are you know, fully deployed. We're a nice juicy target for some rocket fire. So we just need to barrel straight in as fast as we can. And knock them out. Interestingly haven't fired yet. Oh there we go. So my leading ship is on fire. So cease fire. So they can focus on putting the fire out. You're concerned because you're on fire. But fire's gonna be out soon. Fires out. Got a couple of scorch marks now. Oh no, actually no, there's shadows. More rockets. Fire again. A little fire in the rigging that time. Come on, get put the fire out rapidly. Oh, there it is. Just got a little flash of it, although it means it might mean it's getting worse. Stand by. Broadsides at the ready. So we still fire broadsides, we just don't fire at will. While they're putting the fire out. So now you're going to be on fire. Oh, this, no, this goes back on fire again. Oh, big fire.
and you're going to get around aft. You're going to try and rout, but that's not going to fly. You might cut ahead of the 4-3. You are still on fire, so it's broadside only for you. I might blast this guy with a chain shot. Actually, no, round shot. Just smash him. And this fella is going to get a chain shot broadside. Head on. Surrender. Should you guys just. Yeah, but yeah, don't worry, we're going to continue. Might get a bit of blue on blue here. There goes the mizzen. Concerned. The many guns destroyed. The rocket ship is sinking. Brave of them just to rout in this face of constant gunfire. So you're gonna fire a round shot, you're gonna fire a chain, you're right down the muzzle. Fire as she bears. There we go. Couple of ships to bring back to America. Well, I mean, the rocket ship sank, but we'll take the fourth, right? We could, in theory, claim the trade route, but we don't want to do that. Alguna orden? York Factory. Get better. Actually, let's do this properly. Pharaoh. Pharaoh. You. have done that. Upgrade to Boston. Artillery unit, artillery production centers. It's worth knowing that Sweden's got their eyes on Iceland. That was you. Okay, everything else is just regular corner garden bits and pieces. Okay, so. Get you over here. Don't like the horse horse artillery units, really. Let's get another artillery unit, another uh, regular artillery, arti regular howitzer unit. Then we've got four slots left. I think we want two marines. Two marines plus... Oh, apparently I've still got... Oh, I think it's probably going to be... If I had to guess, it's Texas that can recruit them. Or is it going to be up here? Yeah, it's York Factory. Uh, get York Factory to recruit. Hey... Uh, Yes. Yes, we do want to do that. Cancel the recruitment of that. Just to make sure we get those units, because once we recruit, once we've uh, upgraded the government building, we can't actually recruit any of them. Two Marines, you, you, plus get another QSCA unit. Let's get one of our agents over here to join them. Upgrade some of these Quebec structures. Let's cancel, cancel both of them. Let's get a port built. 
Let's get more ports built, rather. Okay. There he is. Hamlet Nordell. I'm going to put myself in a position to make them want to try and attack me. But you're done. So we can take these two galleons. Dump them off the coast of Jamaica and see if they naturally fall back or run back to the city. They may well attack us still, but if they do, they do. Bring the galleons back. You, you're still recruit. You're still. Well, you were replenishing. Keep replenishing. Because then you may actually end up going to Newfoundland. Knock them out. Can you guys leave Texas? Minus 13. No, you cannot. What if I move the general out? Yeah, he's going to request, request government troops back him up. <laughs> he knows these guys. Roberto Cruz, jo jo Joaquin de Vieira, Señoría. cannot be trusted. Okay, you're making do. Can't recruit anything even if you wanted to. Cool. So what we can do is go to here. And say the first, the first, third, plus the rocket ship. Can go join a fleet in Europe. The heavy frigate and the fourth rate. Go join Diego Flores. And then the fourth rate will become an admiral. Sí, señor. And we got ourselves a little tree fleet. Sí, señor. Nice. <laughs> Preachers making their way down to the southwestern United States. I'd be really curious to see where Mexico attacks, because right now, I don't really know where they'll go. Oh, okay, they attacked me and this army's out of range. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, they've attacked me and they can't even bring their full force to bear. That's pretty tasty. This is just... This is just beautiful. They're not going to be able to make their way through any part of the line. I mean, this is just going to be a slaughter. Which, in theory, it should be a slaughter because the enemy is meant should be coming in behind them and not behind us, which may well happen. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> Maybe I'll push my line forward a little bit. Or after you just get hammered. Actually, we thought we all engage the light cavalry. How it is just shooting everyone else because this is. This is unfair. But I'll going to try and just we knock down, knock cavalrymen off their horses. That's their 
general unit of a musket auxiliary. Hey, the howitzer battery have actually come back. They just have no guns crew. I think this is one definitely to play sped up. No native warrior auxiliary. They think that's going to help. I mean, the cavalry infantry mix might work because it might stop us from doing fire by rank. Or they may route regardless. And these guys are just going to charge in or attempt to charge in. You foolish. British. Push forward a cavalry unit. Gotta bear in mind that these infantry units are some of these infantry units are light infantry. So they will actually just sit outside of our range and snipe at us. And the gun crews recrew their guns. There we go. Now we pushed up there well their light is well within musket range. The light infantry wants to try and charge my air, but we are far too quick off the mark. Terry smash this native regular unit to the rear. This poor skirmishing unit. Get ready to shoot, fellas. Smash into them now. They're making our cavalry waver. Chase down. There we go. Native cavalry charge in. Also help cut them down. forward to pursue the rest. And right, we're going to continue. Try to see if we can just knock units out. Actually, you better go further for the 6th. You go for the, this unit, you go for that unit. Oh, ooh, we are going to get them. Yeah, we did get them. Sweet. Everyone go after this, or everyone except for one infantry unit, go every cavalry units. All except for one cavalry unit, sorry. Go after this regular unit, regular native auxiliary unit. Ah, oh, they're going to escape. Unless you kill that guy at the edge. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, it was a bit of a weird decision there from the AI. They attacked us without the support of their main army. If you would like to withdraw, if you withdraw to the mountains. Very well, then we will take the city. If they push down towards Quebec, Quebec is garrisoned. 
otherwise things are looking pretty good more Austrian naval shenanigans uh, yeah so another reason why we want Britain is we can gain control over the North Sea and prevent Austrian access to the to the Atlantic and beyond we blocked off their access from the Mediterranean but they can still send ships west from France but Russia's chasing down the Swedish fleet they did it but at what cost Sweden has captured Finland here come, here come more Swedish ships the later Russia yes yeah, Sweden holding their own They're holding their own, but they're not able to expand. The Mamelukes are building up a large navy. They don't want their port to be attacked. Third rate. It's the third rate sea adler. Okay, upgrade you. Good, good. Let's upgrade Philadelphia's recruitment capabilities. So we're waiting for one more unit of Marines and they'll be ready. Good, good, good. They've not gone for us here. We're going to... I mean, we probably will fight it. I just want to make sure I'm doing everything else properly. I mean, yeah, you just go for the city. So you go for the city, the rake. Keep an eye on wherever they've gone. But yeah, let's go after Jamaica. I think we've got a bit. We've got enough time to squeak it in here. Let's go after the city of Port Royal with the forces under. Dean Hamilton. Dean Hamilton coming in to reinforce. We're going to run them over, take over Jamaica, and secure its sugar production for our empire. We're slimming down the British Empire. Then we can move on and start to... Well, we, we will move on to invading Britain itself secure all that fantastic economic potential and production for ourselves fighting over the town eh keep some of my artillery my foot artillery wide howitzers provide fire support just put my Grenadiers and a contingent of infantry in the town. Then a section of it is going to push up on the edge of the town. Not where I'd like to be fighting, but there we are. These formations advance rapidly. Just send my native cavalry and my infantry up in amongst all these gunners now. Transfer ownership of this grenadier regiment out to this force on the flank because we need to push up. Uh, use my howitzers to engage what's coming in behind. They are charging. is out of square push them up on your line push up and attack and I 
was my grenadier there after. Push the infantry up. Cavalry, big cavalry blob on the left, on the right. Get in there and turn their flank. We can have ourselves a big old bayonet fight. Native warriors should deal a good amount of damage to those infantrymen, to the cavalrymen. My grenadiers are also in the mix, which is right where I want them. My fire by rank is doing good work. Bring this light cavalry over here. More infantry into the melee. Okay, these units, will this unit withdraw? If you can, without bayonet charging people, which you apparently can't. Send them in. This enemy infantry formations, the first army is being defeated. Push the troops up to support, get cavalry around the rear. Yeah, let's help out these two infantry units trapped in the town. Push the blob on into. The 97th Regiment. Born Square. Artillery. Start engaging new foes. Cavalry to not go after this cavalry unit, get them in against the 97th. It's bright colours, it's beautiful. There we go, there. Cavalry. Their infantry's broken. We have two regiments of infantry. Edge of town. There we go. Advance the infantry towards their new center of gravity, lest they have time to dig in again. Push this cavalry out the flank of the 40th. The second regiment of dragoons across. Native warriors jump on them. Infantry advance.
There's a lot of hiding out here, actually. Bring this cavalry over as well. Okay, so what's out here? Infantry, artillery. Can my guns engage their guns? They are picking at us. Let's try and bring. Try and bring these infantrymen into the fight. These three units push into the woods. fire. Charge those guns. Ah, mass cavalry charge against the 33rd in the flank. Unit of artillery, for unit of artillery. Destroy them. Shattered. Keep on pushing. Jump onto the Buccaneers, the fourth light horse smash the 78. Come around. Excellent. For the gunners right in the back. Push the Colonial Dragoons in. But yeah, it looks like these guys are going to be. They're advancing into a bit of a crossfire. Pistol shots ready. I mean, if they want to engage us in melee combat, they're more than welcome. My guys love a bit of a scrap. Artillery ceasefire. These men are not long for this world. We can kill the last of those artillery crewmen, which you did, that's perfect. Escape, sadly. Attack the colonial line. Where's my general? All the way back here. Just keep hacking open the infantry. Third third are going to be a bit screwed. Yeah. As the fire comes lashing in from the flank and from their front. Do you go for the Buccaneers? Because they're going to be close. Damn right. Actually, 
focus on the 69s because they're all a bit fur they're all further away from the line so we might actually be able to annihilate a unit there These buccaneers. Twenty-eight. They're gone. It's all this unit over here, and they got slaughtered. Nice. But yeah, that's quite a good battle. That did a lot of damage to the British infantry. Oh god, yeah, they've only got nine hundred men remaining. Cavalry, unsurprisingly, did a lot of work at the end, mopping up. But like Colonial Line, did some good work too. And let's finish off the destruction of this army. It's going to take a bit of time for this army to get back up strength, but damn, it'll be worth it. So we don't want a military governor's barracks here. We want this to be an administrative build, administrative region. We don't need firepower. Okay, so let's get you guys out to South America. Which one thing is worth checking is if I change theatre mid transition. There you keep going. Good, good. Because, yeah, we got. Yeah, one unit that's a bit attrited. You're waiting for your time to push cool but actually got six thousand let's before we go too mad let's make sure we're doing spending everything we can i think this might be spent here in lisbon get another unit of gorillas and then let's get some more line um, but looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for another episode of the of the Camp of my Empire Did War campaign as Grand Columbia. Cheers, everyone.